Hey guys, welcome back to the Golf Club 2019, and today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, seeing as the Apex Hound's going to be rounding off his uh, Fantasy Course of the Week rounds in the next couple of weeks or so, I figured I'd try to get the money's worth out of this game still and play some of the weird and wonderful courses that uh, people have made in this game. So I thought, what better place to start than one I saw advertised on the Reddit subreddit. Uh, page for the game the other day, which is Mad Mantis Bonus Isles. It's a nine hole course, and as you can already see, um, very narrow landing areas. That's the uh, that's the gimmick to this one. Uh, a tee shot on this first hole is a five iron. I took this because hitting downhill it's going to carry further in the air. So I got a bit lucky with that one. Also worth noting, I did play this course once before I recorded this. I wanted to get an idea of where to go or what I need to be doing at any given point, uh, but the second time I played this course, which is what you're watching now, uh, I just went for it. So you can see I'm still figuring out what I need to do here. I do take a bit of time with some of these shots, but um, yeah, just trying to be uh, safer than, well, better safe than sorry, basically. Into the fairway nicely there, it rolls all the way down. Ends up pretty close to the flag, so we've got a good look at a birdie here in our first hole. One thing I would say about this course is uh, all the difficulties gone into how you get to the green. Once you get to the green, most of them are fairly flat, so you can just do that more often than not. Yeah, so through one hole we open with a birdie, that's a good start. And I would probably say this is probably the signature hole of the course. You can't see it just yet, but the green is hidden just inside that waterfall. Now you can see it. And yeah, that tree uh, directly in our path as well makes it pretty tricky to get at this flag. All the green, actually. It's very narrow. Give it a whack. Unfortunately, I didn't realise until after I hit it that I'd pit the wrong club. What happens is we end up coming just a few yards short of the green. So my only option now is to, if one play a good shot, drop it on the uh, the, the first green again, which I do. Uh, pitch shots, what we've got selected here. I just put a little bit of loft on it there, and just gave it a whack to see what happened. Song a bit slow on the way through, but thankfully just about enough to get it on the green. So damage is limited. I did I do that as in for a bogey, no spoilers there really. If you miss from there you've got a problem. So yeah, we give our shot back straight away, but that's not too bad going level par through two holes on this course. Trust me. Third hole's a bit more interesting. No, I said a bit more interesting. Third hole's interesting as well. We've now got to hit back over the uh I'm going to call it a slide, the fairway slide, but hit back over that now. And we're going to be iron hopping to get to the screen on this par 5. This bit of fairway here is the same bit of fairway as we hit in the first hole. Uh, I just put some loft on that. Gave it a whack into the wind. I'd already learned at this point that that would hold. So with the uh, pro clubs that is, 5 hybrid, a little bit of loft on it, shouldn't carry the fairway. I now decided to aim for this island here because I figured I couldn't reach the further one and also where it was trying to get me to land wouldn't have been a good spot to land on I don't think. So yeah, I aim at the boat because of the right to left wind. Perfect shot, thankfully. And as a result of that the ball lands in the fairway. Okay, So we've only got about 148 yards left in. I decided to club down because we're now going downwind. The wind really, really swells around this course, isn't it? Again, perfect shot. Fortunately, the wind catches it more than I expected. It ends up landing in the bunker. Ah, it's not too difficult from there. I'm just going to play a chip shot. Gives me the flop shot, but because we're going downhill, I prefer to chip out of a bunker like this. A little bit too much loft on it, but it's again 
going to be a tap in for a bar. I can never get the timing down on the chipping and the pitching perfectly. I always end up either going too fast through or back or too slow through or to going too fast back and I, I don't I don't get it. Fourth hole is a fairly short par four but once again islands into the green in the background there. Once again I'm aiming at another rock and boat. It's not a good place to aim. Once again a perfect shot. It's always worth bearing in mind if you're hitting downhill the ball's going to carry further in the air so sometimes it's better taking a club less than what's recommended or whatever you think. Anyway, second shot. Uh, I decided to hit the pitch that it offered me. Put a bit more loft on it once more. And I actually don't aim straight at the flag. I aim at the left hand side of the green. And that's because from there the ball does actually feed in towards the flag. I ended up a fair distance away this time, but once again, there isn't much of a break in these greens. There's a little bit more on this one. But I managed to navigate that fairly well again. So back under par through four holes, and now we pl enter play. Ugh. We're on the fifth hole. What I learned in this hole is it gives you the sand wedge. Again, this is a pro clubs. I got to the gap wedge. I decided not to put any fade in it, despite the fact that would be fairly wise because we need to play a left or right shot. I just used the wind, full swing, and that's what you get on the green. And again, there was apparently no need to put any um, contours on these greens, so I could just hit the putt straight away, and in it goes. Suddenly we are two under par on this very difficult course. On to the sixth hole now, another par five. Longest hole on the course is 644 yards. And basically you just need to hit your driver here. Despite the fact we're going downwind and downhill, I just hit my driver. The reason for that is if you do hit the fairway it just kicks to the left there. And you end up in position A. It's a lot of work to do here though. Uh, got some more iron hopping. This is a very small iron to try and hit. I only in the end opt for whatever club that says because I can't actually read it. I went for the uh, I went for more club uh, on this hole. Ended up pulling it ever so slightly, but thankfully the wind did bring it back into the middle of the fairway, or it did land the rough first. But again, pretty good. 206 or so yards to go. Again, I can't see it on my screen. It's all blurry for me. And again, wind's left to right, so I aim at one of the trees. For some reason, I just don't get the time right at all on that one, even though it felt no different to the other the shots I did before. Looks like the ball's buried in the sand. I just put some loft on this flop shot and just went full swing because in a way that's what I know how to do and I feel like that should have stopped about 6-7 feet sooner than it did not really sure why it ran away from the hole uh, but we got a was that 11 foot, probably not 11 foot putt but we got a putt for the par which again does drop in the hole thankfully so through 6 holes now we are still 2 under par now this is a very tricky hole, but I learnt the trick after several shots on the first round. What you need to do is take the lob wedge out. As I readjust myself again. Put some loft on it. Essentially what you're looking to do is try and get the ball to apex at about 60 yards. And from there it just shoots off to the green. Like so. And that is a very, very good shot. I wasn't expecting to land on the green, I was just hoping to try and get it on the island, and yeah, that was a brilliant result. Once again, not much in the way of break on this green. It was very easy for me to make my fourth birdie, I believe, of this round, and go to three under par. Hard to be to say my second ever round play in this, but yeah, I learned so much from my first round that I managed to 
I uh, utilise that information pretty well. Okay, this eighth hole is a 363 yard par 4, and no, it's not that green directly behind uh, the fairway I'm aiming for. That's a pretty good shot into it. What we've actually got to do is hit it over here. And what I learned is try and hit it into that mound, that huge mound behind the green, with my 5 wood as I got out. Hit that, it should drop down to the green and possibly into the hole. But unfortunately, now my controller decides it wasn't, doesn't want me to complete my follow through, so I get a very slow follow through, which results in that. So I'm sure you're aware, if you've played this game before, uh, yeah, slow backswing or follow through is going to lead to the less accuracy and faster something else, which I'm not entirely sure because you think I'd do the same. I get lucky this hangs on to the rough as it does, but at the same time not very lucky as it could easily have just hit the mound and dropped down, no problem. So a bit of work to do still, with my fifth shot? Yeah, fifth shot. And yeah, basically made a right hash of that hole. Tap the ball in for my sixth though, and we go to the ninth hole at one under par. And this hole is different to uh, most holes because we are literally just putting on a green here. And there's not very much break in this, so if you just get the right pace on the putt, it will just drop in the hole. Just the odd bit of break here and there on the way down, so you've got to look out for. In my first round, I actually hit a nice uh, putt. Left it just on the fringe, just behind the hole, so it's just tapping from there. Uh, this time I don't quite trust myself to get the pace right, so I left it a few feet short, but from there, no issues in holding that putt. And that means we finish this nine hole course, Mad Mantis Bonus Isles, two under par, which I will happily take. I hope you guys enjoy this new format of me talking throughout. Uh, I'm going to make a few more of these, see how that goes. In the meantime, thank you for watching. If you like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you later.